Hello Jack Patterson and everyone at your school. Well, we are stuck on a boat in the middle of the Indian Ocean because our plane is broken, so I thought I'd take the time to tell you all about our adventures this week. We've been filming deep ocean live for Sky News and exploring the ocean here, making the first live television programme from the deep, seeing what lies beneath these waters for the very first time. It's been amazing. We've seen sharks, weird creatures like this huge sunfish, giant tortoises, turtles and these pesky creatures, robber crabs, who actually stole our cameraman's shorts. And to top all of that, I was lucky enough to go in one of these, a two-man submersible three times. So where are we? Well, this is the Indian Ocean, the third biggest of the world's oceans and the least explored. We are in a very remote part by the coral atoll of Aldabra. It is an island and one of the best protected parts of the world. But even here, our rubbish is everywhere, drifting in on the ocean waves. Atolls are fascinating. If you think about a volcano in the middle of the sea and coral growing all around it, over millions of years, the mountain starts to sink, leaving only the fossilized coral around the outside. Coral is actually an animal. It makes its own fortress, though, to live in, which is like rock. Unfortunately, it doesn't like temperatures of the sea getting warmer and is really at risk from climate change. In the center of Aldabra, where the mountain has disappeared, is a lagoon like a lake, which is rich with wildlife, home to baby black tip reef sharks and lemon sharks, home to turtles and all sorts of amazing life, some of which you don't see anywhere else because these animals are stranded here, miles from land, and they adapt to life in such a remote part of the world. Some become giants like these tortoises, which can live well over a hundred years. We'll come back to the land in just a moment because I have to tell you about the dive. First of all, we have to get off this enormous ship into a little boat, get whizzed round to the sub, which is lowered into the sea. Pilot gets in, we get in, hatch is closed, and we are off. Carrier life support systems on and running. Safety briefing complete, standing by to dive. Surface copies, both subs hatch secure. Life support systems on and running. Safety briefings have been completed. Both subs are clear to dive. Dive, dive, dive. All right, ready to go? Ready to go. Venting now. dropping through blue open ocean to the sandy bottom and then plummeting down a massive undersea cliff wall. It is actually quite scary. We broadcast three live television programmes using light beams, which was almost impossible. Here we are in the Indian Ocean, a very remote part indeed of the Indian Ocean. We are 135 metres down, that is 442 feet, kind of taking in the view, I guess. I saw lots of sharks circling above. They are apex predators, top of the food chain and a sign of a healthy environment. There were manta rays, fish of all shapes and sizes, and this guy, a potato grouper, who decided to follow us on our way back up. Can I take a picture with yeah. you? Would that be all right? Would that be all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're recording. <laughs> picture? <laughs> You're coming up to the surface, huh? Um. <laughs> Kisses? <laughs> okay. Bye. Ciao. 
rising back to the surface through jellyfish-sized bubbles was simply incredible. Look at the bubbles! Look at There's the bubbles! There's going to be a little pressure change. <laughs> right. Here we are! Thank you so much! Omega, Omega, this is Chase. Are you ready for swimming? Well, on board are scientists who are taking samples to see what lives below. You can't save the ocean if you don't know what's in it. So back to the land. Green turtles have to haul themselves up and down the beach to lay their eggs. But even here, in this beautiful place, they have to push their way through our rubbish. Plastic is everywhere. A team of volunteers has been cleaning up the island. Okay, so plastic bottles, full of plastic bottles. Those are recyclable at home, obviously. Let's have a look at this one. This one is flip-flop. Should we... I don't know if I want to tip that out, do you? Should we tip that out and show everybody what that looks like? I'll help you pick it up after. So far, finding more than 50,000 flip-flops, fishing nets, marine debris from thousands of miles away. It's not fair on these animals. They live nowhere near human beings in a protected place, but still they live among and die because of our waste. I think they've got to think about what they're, what they're using and at home. You know, how much plastic are you getting through every day? And what small changes can you make to get through a bit less? So easy things that children can do is to, you know, get yourself one of those permanent bottles for water. Don't be tempted to, you know, buy a plastic bottle of water, a plastic bottle of coat three times a day. You're just accumulating a massive plastic footprint like that. Get one of those. Remember to get your bag and take it every time you want to go shopping. Um, just those simple things. Don't ask for a plastic straw with your drink. And little guys like this need your help, don't they? This tortoise, or ones like this, have been eating flip-flops. We have found it in their poo. Well, this is a tortoise poo, and you know it's a tortoise poo because it doesn't appear to be able to digest things terribly well. And that's the problem with this, because if I turn it over, you can see that this tortoise has been chomping away on one of those flip-flops that our team has just been cleaning up. And they just don't understand that this is not food. Life is hard enough. The baby turtle reaches the ocean. Let's try and keep the ocean as clean as possible for all the extraordinary sea creatures who live out of sight under the water in places like Aldabra, so that one day you can travel the world and see them for yourselves. Seriously, it's brilliant. Ready to go? Ready to go. That's so weird. Oh, look, you can see the other sub. It's amazing. I just can't believe that we're seeing you and hearing you like this. Wow, that's amazing. It's so dark. questions about climate change, biodiversity. Oh, shark, shark. Wow. I broadcast from some pretty remote and amazing places in my time, but none quite so remote or amazing as this. <laughs>